All right, we're talking about posture and how important our posture is. So I happen to have a high stool here. I'm gonna move it forward just a little bit. And it's really, I have a high stool. You can use any kind of a chair. And so we're gonna do, I'm gonna just turn around so I can get the chair part. We're gonna do a chair plank. Now I have it focused on back here because I want you to work that. So I'm gonna just put my hands here with my hair, see if we can get you a visual on this. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna turn around a little bit. I'm gonna drop out. And I just have my hands resting on, on the step stool and I'm dropped in my shoulder blades. I'm just dropped. Now I'm gonna push up and puff up that part and hold. I'm not rounding my back, okay? I'm not rounding my back. And now I'm gonna let between my shoulder blades sink and now I'm gonna press it up. So I'm pushing, I'm feeling those lats, but it's my shoulder, it's in my mid chest. I'm letting it sink, press, sink, press, sink, press. Okay, I want you to practice now. Now, why is that important? It is important because that is very powerful in your push-up or your plank. So many of the times I see people hollow it out between their shoulder blades. They're sinking down. And I want you to get the feeling of moving back from your chest so that when you're in that plank, you feel it here, yes. But this part of your chest is pushing up into your back. Not rounded, long, but all of a sudden now you have a connection. Now I'm super solid, okay? I'm gonna go into my plank, I'm gonna hold. Okay, now I'm gonna bend my elbows just a little bit, hold and stretch, as opposed to I'm gonna show you what a, a bad plank or a bad push-up is. See how I'm totally dropped out? Now I'm gonna try to push up, oh, it's so hard because you're dropped into the arms, you're dropped into the hand. So practice two things, pushing back and forward. In fact, here's one, uh, push back and forward. Now I'm rounding a little bit and forward. Now I'm overextending, push back and forward. So we want that upper body being a little more mobile. We wanna get you into that plank position, into that strong position so you can hold your plank. Practice it, put it in, and if it doesn't make sense to you, let me know and we can go over it again. But I'm telling you, that'll be the beginning of the, both the plank and your push-up and that will make a huge difference. Take care of your body and your body will thank you.